Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my mission uh, to EVE. Uh, it is a crewed mission and it starts by uh, sending a space station that uh, will go uh, around EVE. Uh, as you can see now, uh, we are using our uh, transfer stage uh, to launch it uh, towards uh, EVE. And now we are going to have a clean separation and the station is uh, now on, on its own. So just a few moments later we are already at EVE and now we got rid of our uh, heat shield which was originally planned uh, to protect us uh, during the error break. But I found out that uh, it is not really an option to air break at EVE uh, as its atmosphere is uh, really deadly. So uh, the station had to use its own engines to get to orbit. And the engine is a nuclear engine, so it's uh, really quite efficient. So we should have uh, just enough delta V to get into the desired uh, orbit. We have just got captured uh, by uh, the EVE's uh, gravity and we are planning uh, our maneuver to uh, get our inclination to match uh, Gilly's uh, inclination. Uh, so the transfers from the station to Gilly uh, will be much, much easier. The station will stay at uh, low EVE orbit uh, and it is supposed to be a permanent uh, habitation. Uh, so the plan is uh, that uh, there will be always Kerbals um, orbiting uh, EVE and uh, later we will also send the um, Gilly lander that will be uh, docking to the station and uh, we'll, we'll be able to go to short trips uh, to Gilly. The station consists of two habitation rings that uh, will uh, provide uh, comfort uh, for our Kerbals. And it also has a cupola for great views uh, and a radiation detoxication unit uh, that will allow us to uh, heal our Kerbals uh, from any uh, radiation that they will uh, get uh, during their missions. Also, the food and water reserves uh, should be enough uh, to keep them alive for several years. We have finally reached our uh, desired orbit. It's um, uh, 400 kilometers by 1.4 thousand kilometers. So now uh, we are uh, inflating our uh, habitat rings. Uh, it uh, takes uh, a bit of time. And basically our station is ready to um, host uh, first Gerbils that will come soon. Unfortunately, I don't have a footage uh, of uh, me sending uh, Kerbals, uh, the crewed mission, uh, to the station, as well as the lander. Uh, but uh, here are some uh, photos, uh, some screenshots of uh, the mission. Here is uh, the ship uh, docking. Uh, it's quite a small ship uh, because the transfer was only uh, 80 days. Uh, so Kerbals could fit into the small space. And here's our uh, Gilly lander. Uh, it's a quite uh, small lander, but it uh, got uh, huge uh, delta V uh, as it's using um, electric engines. And in total, it has uh, about 18,000 uh, meters per second of uh, delta V. So finally, uh, let's uh, get our Kerbals uh, to Gilly. So we are uh, plotting our uh, maneuver. Uh, as I've said, uh, the, uh, we don't have to worry about the adult of your requirements uh, that much. Uh, so we are uh, making uh, our burn and it will last over half an hour. Uh, and because of that, uh, we are going to overshoot uh, a bit, so we'll have to make a small uh, course correction. 
here is the correction and uh, it's uh, really not easy to hit uh, Gilly's uh, sphere of influence as it's uh, so tiny but uh, after uh, mingling with uh, the note uh, I've uh, managed to do it and here's uh, yeah here's the correction burn yeah by the way the lander is uh, powered by two small uh, fission uh, reactors uh, so this is how uh, it gets enough power to um, power the electric engines and we are approaching uh, Gilly as uh, this small space rock. Now it's time to get to our orbit around Gilly. Uh, it's uh, still quite a big burn, uh, 600 uh, meters per second. But from now on, the burns around uh, Gilly to land and to uh, fly to the orbit again. Uh, will be uh, really really tiny because of its uh, low gravity uh, so uh, yeah I've planned uh, to land on uh, a place that is supposed to be flat uh, so we can find out uh, right now it uh, wasn't that flat uh, but still I've managed to uh, find a uh, suitable uh, landing location we are coming down and for the final adjustments uh, I uh, decided uh, just to use the RCS thrusters uh, as they are quite powerful for this task. So we have a touchdown. Now just a quick checkup of the subsystems and we can go out uh, for uh, VA. Uh, this is already our uh, second trip to uh, Gilly, so uh, most of the uh, science is already gathered, so in fact this is uh, just a touristic trip. And uh, also uh, we had a contract uh, for uh, planting the flag on Gilly, so here it is. Now a uh, short uh, chilling, uh, admiring the views. And Bob has decided to uh, make a short um, trip around uh, using his uh, EVA pack as it's uh, quite simple uh, on Gilly. So yeah, he made uh, just a, a short uh, trip uh, and he started to find uh, some strange uh, looking rocks uh, that uh, are floating uh, in the air. Uh, last time uh, Kerbals uh, have seen uh, such phenomena uh, on their trip to uh, Ike. But now as Bob came back uh, to the lander, uh, some strange uh, Kraken uh, hit. Uh, but uh, luckily uh, the lander managed to ride itself uh, up using the uh, RCS. And uh, then Kerbals uh, proceeded uh, very slowly to uh, get uh, back in. Unfortunately, um, the antenna uh, got broke during the Kraken attack. Uh, but also, um, a second Kerbal came back, uh, uh, and uh, they both decided to uh, get uh, off uh, Gilly as soon as possible. As Gilly proved to be a bit more hostile uh, than uh, they've expected. And now we are uh, just simply uh, making the orbit, uh, waiting for the apogee, uh, uh, circularizing. Uh, the, yeah, the circularization burn was uh, quite tiny. And now we have started to uh, plot the uh, return burn in a way uh, that it will be easier uh, to uh, rendezvous uh, with the station. Because of quite poor uh, trust to weight ratio, uh, I have decided to make uh, two breaking burns. Uh, first one will uh, get us to a bit uh, eccentric uh, orbit. Uh, to make it easier for us to uh, rendezvous uh, with the station. So here it is, the first uh, break. Uh, then we are uh, raising our uh, periapsis uh, just a bit, 
have to uh, wait for the correct timing to uh, rendezvous. So we'll have just one final uh, burn before uh, getting uh, to the station. And here it is, the final 570 uh, meters per second uh, burn. Yeah, we, go, we managed to get uh, quite close to the station. So now just the uh, docking and we are back uh, with our habitat. Kerbals will probably stay on the station uh, for two to three years. And in the meantime, uh, also there will be some more uh, modules uh, coming to uh, increase the capacity uh, of the base and also to make their uh, stay there more comfortable. Thank you all of you for watching. If you liked it, uh, please press like and subscribe and see you all uh, in my next video.